Hey guys, and welcome to Upfront Games yet again. I know we're three days late here, um, but there's a reason for that. We tried to do the video from Atlanta. Um, I was out for five days, and in essence, we just couldn't. Um, it wasn't working on the machine there, so sorry for that. However, because of that, you're going to get one today. Obviously, another one on Sunday. So... Here we go. Uh, first for PlayStation, let's go ahead and get started. And the release is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order that comes out on the 15th. So uh, go ahead and check out the trailer. It wasn't always like this. But now. There are three rules to survive. Don't stand out. Accept the past. Trust. Awesome trailer for Star Wars. Um, looking forward to it coming out. However, it's another title that, I mean, I got a lot coming in. Uh, I know if I bought it right now, I would not play it for probably a good six months. Um, I'm trying to get everything done before I get to PS5, which if their backwards cap capability is um, going to be something that comes fully to fruition, then I won't have to worry about it because all my PS4 titles will then be able to be played on the PS5. But let's just keep going. Um, Autica has released on PSVR and came out with four new songs free. This is Harmonic's new music game, and they seem to have hit it out of the park with the VR uh, on the VR market with this newest music experience. Um, I would love to play it, but again... It looks good. I'm just waiting on uh, PS5 and PSVR 2. Uh, I've heard a lot about it, the wireless capabilities and stuff like that, so I'm more interested in that uh, coming out before I go down that road of VR in general. Um, lastly, for PlayStation, where Water Tastes Like Wine is coming to PS4 December 2nd. It's an award-winning narrative game about wandering a Depression-era America and sharing your stories with different characters on campfires as you go. Um, it looks interesting, to say the least. I'm sure there'll be more uh, from this title before December 2nd, and we'll definitely have the trailer more than likely that week. Uh, but if that's something you're interested in, by all means, go ahead and check that out. Uh, they do have an interesting um, little trailer on uh, YouTube as well. 
So uh, that's it for PlayStation. Let's move into Xbox. And today for the Xbox game, we chose Mad Games Tycoon. Uh, that comes out, uh, well, came out today. So, um, or actually yesterday. So uh, you can go ahead and get that now. Um, it's all about building a gaming company and selecting the right games to release and and building everything up in that environment. It actually looks pretty interesting. And I, I kind of chose this because, you know, we're all gamers. So um, I think part of the dream eventually of being a gamer is being able to uh, get involved in gaming in a way that you get paid for it. So I think these little tycoon games actually do some justice to kind of um, take a bite out of that that desire, if you will. So uh, anyway, check out the trailer, and then we'll move into more Xbox news, which is actually pretty short this week. So check it out. Okay, that was Mad Games Tycoon. I'd be interested to see what y'all are thinking and feeling on that. Um, but like I said, short news this week for Xbox. And if you see me looking down a little bit, it's because I had like my notes were a lot smaller this week because um, I kind of wrote them out in a hotel. Um, so it's it's very interesting. Anyway, um, <laughs> Bless Unleashed entered open beta November seventh. It will be continue on open beta till November twentieth. It's a premier action MMORPG, which is coming first to Xbox. Um, it does look pretty interesting. I love MMORPGs when I can get into them. The last one I did really was um, World of Warcraft, so it's been a minute. Um, but anyway, check that out. Uh, if you're interested in those sort of things, the open beta is there for them to get feedback uh, from the players in order to make the game better when it releases. So by all means, check that out on Xbox. Um, and now get three months of Xbox Game Pass for PC and new game reveals with the purchase of select G-Series and Alienware PCs. So essentially, they're trying to um, get the uh, Game Pass PC package out there a little bit more. So if you purchase one of these uh, laptops, then you essentially will receive the uh, Xbox Game Pass for PC for free for three months, and you'll get new game reveals as well um, within that subscription. So by all means, check that out. If you happen to buy one, I wouldn't go buy one to get three months free. It doesn't really make sense. Um, but it is an added perk if you happen to be buying one of those machines uh, this month. Anyway, uh, that's it for Xbox, like I said, really short. So let's go ahead and jump into Nintendo. Um, Nintendo's game for this week is uh, Stranded Sales Explorers of the Cursed Islands. Uh, that came out yesterday. So let's go ahead and check out the trailer.
guys, that was Stranded Sails Explorers of the Cursed Islands. Yes, I know this is a PlayStation trailer. <laughs> However, it is being released on Switch. So, uh, we chose a good trailer for the game and put it in place. Um, so, and I just knocked something off my desk. That sucks. But, hey, it'll get picked up later. Anyway, um, let's get into this. So, there are no plans to bring the full Pokedex to Sword and Shield, and future games will follow suit. In order to transfer, you will have to use the Pokemon Bank or the upcoming Pokemon Home app. Uh, they've also stated that this going forward is going to be region specific as they have in the past. So if you found a Pokemon in one specific region and the game just happens to not take place in that region, you're not going to be able to use that Pokemon. I mean, people were really complaining about this and causing a, a big stink over it um, because they wouldn't be able to use every Pokemon they've ever owned in every game across the board. But that's the way it's always been in Pokemon. At least they're giving you a place to, to store all of your old Pokemon for the instances that you're playing in a region that you can use them. A lot of other games don't do that. You start from scratch or you're able to take one character over. So, hey, live with it, guys. It'll be all right. Just make sure you're storing out all your Pokemon that you got and bringing them into the game regions where they can be transferred, utilizing, again, Pokemon Home app, which is not released yet to my understanding. It said it was upcoming. Or the Pokemon Bank. Hope that clears everything up. Um, Divinity Original Sin 2 is the first game to use uh, the online play invites feature that was released on Switch back in September, I believe. Um, allowing players to invite friends into their game. This is a third-party title, so here's hoping it makes it to first-party titles going forward and that it's a good experience uh, with its implementation because Nintendo itself has not utilized the feature on any of their first-party releases and to see it being released in Divi Divinity Original Sin 2 is great, but it has to work right. Hey. All right, that's it for Nintendo, and like I said, um, kind of short stuff to an extent. Um, but we are going to, again, questions, comments, go ahead, leave those below. By all means, subscribe, hit that like button, share on social media, because it really does help the channel. We really do appreciate it, because we can't do a lot of things we want to do to improve design and all that kind of stuff without um, being able to get those numbers up. So it's always greatly appreciated. So again, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Anyway, I wanted to leave on a different note though this week because there's a couple things I wanted to talk about. One of which being Disney+. Plus. I am a huge kid at heart. So I love that it's out and that's actually great. I downloaded it yesterday. Um, I watched Star Wars today. Uh, it does have quite a few of the uh, Disney, Marvel, Pixar, um, the whole Star Wars universe for the most part. And we'll be adding a lot more um, to its offerings. And it even includes The Simpsons because Vox, um, as well as Nat Geo. So I'd encourage you, if you're a Disney fan or you like any of those um, channel sets or um, publishers, I should say, um, go ahead and get that 7 bucks a month, 70 bucks for the year, which means you get two months for free. Um, it's, it's definitely worth it uh, to have those at your fingertips. I think it's awesome. That's my little spiel on Disney+. Plus. Now... Going forward, starting November 19th, which I am remembering correctly, that is next week, um, we will be adding another brand to the channel. I'm sure you can guess what it is, because Google Stadia comes out on November 19th. Uh, we've I pre-ordered it, so I know that it's going to get here, I'm going to play with it, that's going to be my review 
or, or my uh, feature in December at the end of the month just because I want some time to actually play with it. Um, this month I'm going to do a full review on Need for Speed Heat. Uh, I have been playing that quite a bit, so stay tuned guys, there's a lot coming. Um, and then also check us out Sunday when we have this week's, uh, or I should say next week's news. Um, and again, sorry for the delay guys, like, comment, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next week. Have a good one.